Okay, this video is about uh, my decision-making process uh, when it comes to getting encryption and networking on the same Arduino. I started with this board from DF Robots called an X-Board. Well, actually, I started with an AppMega and an Ethernet Shield, but I'll get to that. <clears throat> I found this board online. It's basically an Uno. It has the same CPU as an Uno. And it has networking built right in. And this is the website behind my video. And everything was good. At, but when I started to add encryption to my program, I had networking. I found that the encryption library and the networking together were larger than, than the memory space, the program space available on this unit. So we can see that the 328 has 32 kilobytes. Well, my test program was 38 40 kilobytes, something like that. So I wasn't able to use this 328P. Now, let's say that through some miracle I was able to get it uh, down to the right size. We have an EEPROM. The, the rest of the memory is very limited. We got SRAM of uh, 2 kilobytes, EEPROM of 1 kilobyte. That means that if you wanted to store an encryption key of 1024 bits, which isn't that strong, you'd be using the entire EEPROM. Then you'd have to read it out of EEPROM into your working memory. So you'd use half your working memory just for an encryption key. The 328 platform just isn't really designed for encryption, which is strange. So you get one of these X boards, you'll be able to do some local area network on it, but you're not going to be able to do encryption. We basically have to move to the, the Mega 128 platform, which is the at Megas. Uh, in the Arduino world. It's got enough RAM and EEPROM to be able to do this stuff, compile and upload your program. It's got plenty of working room. <clears throat> the problem with the at Megas is that they got the shields. I haven't been able to find an at Mega that comes with the Ethernet built in. So you got to go with the shield concept. And although I don't have a shield on me, I had one a while ago. This is about as big as they are. I cut this block of wood to approximately the size of an AppMega, and it doesn't even fit in frame here, with the shield stacked on top of it. So here we go on, on, on Amazon. This is a knockoff. The shield is $16, and uh, a Mega, you know, frequently bought together. It's about $40. Now... It's not too bad, but price is getting up there, size is getting up there, and it, although it has the memory to deal with the encryption, you still got to say it's only a 16 megahertz processor. I don't think it's going to have the speed to really do full-on SSL and encryption. So I went with a Raspberry Pi. Now I know a lot of you are probably freaking out. Hey, this is an Arduino video, get the Raspberry Pi out of here, right? It makes sense. It makes sense to offload your networking and your encryption to the Raspberry Pi uh, because it's only $20 for the version 1. You're getting, uh, you're getting a, an Ethernet socket. You're getting 512 megs of RAM. And you have the ability to add an SD card. I mean, well, it's almost a requirement. You need your operating system. You probably get a gigabyte of file storage. Let's say you want to do a little bit of database work or logging um, for errors. You're going to get that. You're not going to get that on the AppMega without another component, right? So the, the, the Arduino is really good for prototyping. But you can't beat the Raspberry Pi in terms of economics and space for all the... The, the peripherals that it gives you. You can't do your whole project on a Raspberry Pi. I'm not saying switch to Raspberry Pi. You cannot do critical timing. Here's a Stack Overflow question. This guy's saying, uh, I'm on an ARM platform, Linux kernel. I'm trying to do some critical timing. And basically what he says is every once in a while, this line gets pulled really low. And people are saying, you know, you're not using a real-time operating system. The kernel's not guaranteeing that your program is going to get a slice of execution time on a regular basis. So stuff's going to happen. The CPU is, or the kernel is going to take over. And if it needs to access the, the bus to get RAM, it's just going to take over. So you want the Arduino for interacting with the real world. You want 
this you know exclusive hardware chip no real-time operating system it's not going to get interrupted it's not going to get preempted you want this for uh, communicating with the real world this is a nano uh, i don't think they make these anymore i think it's like a pro mini what you want now got the 328 chipset it's got all the same memory constraints as the df robot x board right but if all you're doing is reading the sensors and then you're communicating over something that's supported in hardware like ua uh, UART or SPI or T TWI or something like that. Uh, if you're communicating with something that's available on hardware on the Raspberry Pi and the um, and the Nano, then you're pretty good to go. You're not going to miss any bits. You're not going to um, there's there's no there's no kernel to uh, preempt your program. So you really need both together. Now, could you do uh, a small really this is only man it's only like five or seven bucks in bulk so could you do something like this and instead of this the raspberry pi monstrosity could you do um at mega with the ethernet shield could you daisy chain the got hardware uart hardware uart yeah you probably could but again the 16 megahertz i'm not sure even if this unit was a mega with the shield i'm not sure that it could in a in a reasonable amount of time, do the SSL handshake, do the encryption. Even if it was a mobile optimized encryption like the Cha Cha protocol or Cha Cha algorithm, I'm not sure it would work. It may be horribly delayed, um, and it's about the same price. You look at again, you look at a Mega with whatever it's twenty or thirty dollar, thirty five dollars. Let's say you, you know the Raspberry Pi, you need. Um, that you need a, a power cord and an SD card. Well, this Raspberry Pi, you know, version um, version one, about twenty dollars. It's it's nearly the same. I think the Raspberry Pi is cheaper. It's going to be nearly the same cost. So why not just daisy chain to a full on operating system? Again, you have. Let's say that the somebody comes out with an SSL bug. Let's say you program some SSL. Somebody comes out with an SSL bug. You've got a full operating system on here. It may you've got Ubuntu. It may just update overnight, and you don't have to worry, right? If you've got an Arduino, it doesn't have over-the-air updating. You're gonna have to go to each sensor and each board and fit an FTDI cable and reprogram it, all that mess. So at the end of the day, unless somebody knows, if you know of a of a of a single board computer that has the App Mega with, um. The network built in uh that's great leave a comment you know tell me about that i want to know about that stuff otherwise you know it looks like an arduino plus a raspberry pi is the best i, I made a little matrix here right x board good cost it can do encryption but it can't do ssl it can do encryption but not networking right this is what the asterisk is it really doesn't have enough space to do anything useful Mega plus Ethernet Shield costs a little bit more. This is the price of the um, sort of the standard, the the real deal, the name brand, right? You get a knockoff for thirty. We saw thirty eight, whatever. Yeah, it can do encryption. Can it do SSL? It's got the memory to do SSL uh, by downloading the client certificates and all that stuff. I don't know if it has the horsepower to do full on SSL. Maybe it does. Either way, you probably it. The, Timing is going to get interrupted, so you're going to need a secondary chip as well. You're going to need a nano or whatever to interact with the real world if your if your application is time sensitive. Raspberry Pi bar, Raspberry Pi by itself, it can do all this stuff, uh, but it can't read the signals uh, without being preempted. So a Raspberry Pi plus a nano or a Arduino Mini got the best cost. It can do encryption and SSL, all that stuff, right? The, the, um, the fifth option would be daisy chaining, uh, but again, I just haven't seen uh, a simple form factor of Mega plus Ethernet Shield. If you know of it, let me know in the comments. So that's why I decided to go with Raspberry Pi. For my project, it makes the most sense. What about your project? Do you have one you're working on where it makes sense? Leave a comment in the description. I'll put a link to the project that I'm working on. In the description uh, it's a home security project and I need critical timing right I, I can't uh, I need a full 
the CPU where I control everything in order to, to interact with that real world device. So thanks for watching.